Now, in this Psalm, Psalm 149, the first thing that it says is to sing our praises to the Lord. Have you ever taken the time in your church time to actually sing? Now, some people will mouth the words. Some people will not sing at all. Some people will just listen and then they'll actually criticize the people around them. There's always that one person who sings too loud, who is off key, who you always sit close to no matter what, who you always hear and you're thinking, how can that person possibly not know how it is that they sing? How it is that they sound? How it is that they annoy people? How it is that they throw people off? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever thought for a second that maybe that person that is singing so loud, that is singing so off key, is so in tune with God that they're not worried about that? Our voices are to be lifted up to the Lord. The toughest thing when I talk with worship leaders, when they get up, is when people do not sing. And maybe they don't know the words. Maybe they're not even trying. Maybe they just don't want anyone else to hear their voice. But here's the thing. You're not singing for them. You're not singing for the people around you. You are singing to the Lord, and you are singing your praises to Him. So when you get into church this week, would you ask yourself this question, can I sing my praises to God? Because many times, we just choose not to. It's a whole lot easier to point out that person that's not singing on key, or that person that's singing too loud, when really what God wants from us is for us to reach our voice to Him and praise Him. Think about that, and we'll talk more tomorrow.